All right, today we're actually gonna be doing a video that actually hits a little close to home. We're gonna bring the 2016 Marlins into 2021, and I'm gonna see if I can build them that dynasty that they were looking for. Looking back on it, they really had one of the most insane squads back in 2016 and 2017 before they legit just sold everybody. Now, with everybody looking back, there was pretty much two gigantic events that happened that pretty much shifted the Marlins forever. One was the absolute stud pitcher, Jose Fernandez, sadly passing away, and the second one was them signing Giancarlo Stan to the first ever 300 plus million dollar contract when they're the Miami Marlins, and they really couldn't afford that whatsoever. They went into some heavy debt to do that, and the only reason why they did that was because they were betting on those World Series championships. Sadly, they never came because, again, things just never went their way, and they weren't destined for that. But your boy's not gonna let that happen today. We're gonna go to an alternate universe and hopefully bring them that World Series that they were looking for way back in the day. So in the roster vault right now, we got 16x21 Marlins by Gulls Boy. He said he added 2016 Stan, Ozuna, Ramuzzo, Yelich, Ichiro, Jose, and X Nola to the 2021 Marlins. Now, one problem that I'm having is I want to stay true to the Marlins back in 2016, but the other problem is things necessarily have an age grade because Marcelo Zuna just got arrested for some pretty heinous stuff. The whole situation, if you guys have not heard about it, it's horrible. Just honestly a garbage human being, probably not going to come back to baseball for a long time, so I'm just not going to use him. There might be some Marlins fans that don't like that, but just for my own morality, I can't feel good about actually using somebody like that, so we're not going to do it. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Go ahead and go to Marcelo Zuna real quick and just go ahead and strip release him. But here we go. Got the studs back from 2016, and we also have the rest of the 2021 Marlins. Let's see if we can finally build them that dynasty that they were looking for. So on the team right now, we got Jose Fernandez, R.I. We got Giancarlo Stan back on the Marlins. We got JT Ramuto. We got D Strange Gordon. We got Christian Yelich. And we also got the rest of the 2021 Marlins on the squad as well. So we got Stan Marte. We got Jesus Aguilar. We got Sandy. We got Pablo Lopez, Miguel, Dylan. We got a bunch of fun guys here. And I'm actually excited to see how we do in such a crazy division like the NL East. We got the Braves who in this game are going to be good, but in real life, kind of struggling a little bit, especially now. We got the Phillies who in this game do very, very well. The Nationals as well in this game do very, very well. And of course, the Mets, when they're not choking, they have a great team. So pretty much everybody here right now has the ability to make the postseason if they actually go for it. So that's what's going to make this hard because this entire division is going to be crazy good. But I mean, come on. The team that I got, I'm still super confident about it. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right. So first things first, real quick, since we did end up getting rid of Marcelo Zuna, I want to go for a new guy in left field who I think is going to do amazing on the Marlins, and that's going to be Jesse Winker. I mean, the guy in real life cannot miss a ball. The guy's hitting absolutely everything. And in the game, I've been preaching for a long, long time. The guy has always been a glitch. So I'm super excited to try to get him. So I'm going to try to send over a couple prospects. I think I should be able to get him, though. Let's see. Sierra. There we go. Okay. That makes a little bit of progress. We also got Corey Bird. That also makes a decent amount of progress. And what about one more pitching prospect? Tom Crow. There's absolutely no shot that this guy's real. I'm sorry for not knowing, but there's no freaking way this dude is real. I guess he's just one of those made up guys from the show, but either way, there we go. Beautiful. So we're getting Jesse Winker over here now. He's got 99 contact versus right. We're not going to worry about the lefties, but besides that, righties, he kills them. Let's get it right here. There we go. Jesse Winker's on the squad now. And I think that's going to be a fantastic addition. So now looking at the squad, we got Jose Fernandez, of course, the ace. We got Pablo right behind him. We got Sandy in third. We got six down in fourth and Trevor Rogers in fifth. I will say for the rotation, I'm probably going to get rid of Trevor Rogers because this guy for me just never does well. So I'm sure we can find another great lefty. For the bullpen, we got Hernandez, John Curtis, Anthony Bass. We also got Adam Simber, Richard Garcia, and of course, Dylan Floro. I've said it for a long time, but the Marlins are honestly like a low key good squad in the show. Like if you actually look at their squad, they're super glitchy. Also, how could I forget? We got future Hall of Famer Ichiro Suzuki out there. He's definitely only going to stay with us for one. What the heck is going on here? What type of player did they actually give me? This man Ichiro apparently came back in time. 2036? What the heck? What are you doing, Ichiro? We got an imposter over here. But yeah, I guess futuristic Ichiro's on the squad now. Let's see how we do with this. Again, I'll see you guys at draft day, and let's see if I can actually win this team a World Series. Let's get into it. And here we are, the 2021 first year player draft. We really aren't gonna have that great of a spot in the draft. We're at about 17th. That's not great, but it's also not bad either. It's honestly that gray area in the draft because like you can get some good guys in here, but it's not gonna be the best blue chips you can find. But you guys best believe I'm gonna try my best to find someone good. We got Harold Gold over here. What a last name. Guy bats left looks amazing, actually. What the heck? I mean, I hate to like not look at anybody else, but I think I know who I want want to go with. So Harold Gold, come on over. Let's go, baby. We got a comp balance pick. We got the first one, by the way. This one, I guess I'll look through a lot more people. I want to try to get a good guy for the starting pitchers because we're a little bit thin on that. So first off, we got Ed over here. Throws 96. He's got above average to well above average everything. So the guy looks great. Throws right. We'll be ready by next year. 18. I think everything checks out, to be honest. So there we go. Go ahead and go with Ed. And then we're also going to go for one more guy. I'm thinking Brad would probably be the best one. He's not going to be a great guy for power, but he's also going to get on base like nobody's business. So Brad, come on over. And there we go. That's personally going to be it for my draft. Let's see what we got here. Let's just that Harold's actually gonna be an A. Come on. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, and he's a B. God dang it. How the heck are you a B, bro? The guy's gotta be an 89. 
And he's an 82. What? This game's out of its mind. I'm calling Cap. Look at the wheel. He looks amazing. Like, legit, if that power develops and he keeps going, he's going to be somewhat of a five-tool player. Like, legit, I don't say that for a lot of guys, but he's legit going to be insanely good. He's got the speed. He's got the fielding. He's got the contact. If he can just get that power, he's going to be amazing. So I'm going to get him personally. We also got Ed. Ed's going to be an 88. And we also got Brad an 89. Everybody else kind of sucks. I'm honestly only going to sign Fernando and the rest of the guys. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Let's go and keep this thing going real quick. We're at the top of the NL East. We're 34 and 22. The guys are doing amazing. I will say there are a couple spots that could use upgrades, but we'll get there when we get there. But yeah, so far, I'm just enjoying this team. And it's honestly super nice to see Miami actually above 500. Like, they're a super fun squad as Soroka goes. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> they're trying to kill me. Yo, am I dying? What the heck was that? But Soroka goes to the race. Jesus Christ, I need a drink. But yeah, Soroka going over to the Rays. They honestly kind of fleece him because Soroka's 22 years old. But yeah, let's go and keep this thing going as the Pirates get Whit Merrifield. What is going on here? They did a one for one with Cabrian Hayes. You guys are out of your mind. They screwed up so much stuff as Nola goes to the Twins. Why are so many people trading? Well, I guess I got to go and get in on this now because we've fallen behind a little bit. We're in second place. All right, the first thing I'm doing, Trevor Rogers, you're gone, bro. You're out of here. Let's get an absolute beast of a lefty. Oh my God. Could you guys imagine if I still Clayton Kershaw? Like, I can't do it, right? Even though it says they're interested, I can't do it, right? But legit, bro, if we have DeGrom and Kershaw in the same division, that could actually be electric. I'm going to keep looking just because I kind of have to, but I'm definitely going back to that trade. I mean, like, who else could even want as a lefty? Like, for real, there's really not that many. Like, we got Chris Sale. I mean, I'm sure we can get him. Yeah, we can get him. But he's nowhere near Kershaw's level. I'm going back to Kershaw. Screw it. Let's just get him. Why not? Screw it. We got Trevor Rogers. We also got Ross Detweiler going over to the Dodgers. And we also got Jordan Holloway for Clayton Kershaw, the fleece of the century. Thank you. Like, what are the Dodgers doing? Now we got Jose Fernandez and Clayton Kershaw on the same squad. Could you actually imagine? Yo, gone too soon, Jose. My goodness. All right, now next up, there's one more thing I want to do. And that is actually going to the Cardinals and getting Giovanni Gallegos. I felt like we needed just a tiny bit of a bump in that bullpen just because the guys here, they're not bad, don't get me wrong, but they're not exactly the best of the best. Giovanni's definitely going to be that difference maker that I wanted. So, of course, I got to get him. There we go. And honestly, now besides that, I think we're all good. Like, I could go for a first baseman because Jesus really isn't doing the greatest. But in all honesty, I think I'm good. Like, we got a super solid rotation now. We got a decent enough bullpen for year one. And the line Lineup's actually doing all right, too, so I think we're good. All right, let's go ahead and keep this here going. Also, look at Jose Fernandez, 14-1 with a 2.6. Bro, this guy's so missed. Purely as a baseball player, the guy was insane. There's a couple other things that were going on that I really don't want to get into because I do want to stay positive about this entire thing, but, but Jose as a baseball player, insane. Absolutely insane. Either way, at the end of the year, we make it 88-74. and 74. We're making it as a wild card team. We're facing the Brewers, by the way. That's actually pretty ironic given, like, we got Christian Yelich on this team now. But if we look at everybody, we got D Gordon hitting three bombs, baby. Juicing up. Let's go. We got Christian Yelich putting in a good year. We got Jesse Winker. He had 32 bombs, but that is the lowest average I think I've ever seen him have. I have never seen this guy actually get a 240. So I'm hoping next year is going to be better, but that's a little bit insane. We got Giancarlo Stan hitting 34 bombs. He's back, baby. We got Jesus Aguilar hitting 12 home runs. I guess it's all right. We got JT again doing pretty solid. We got Jez. 88 at bats. Eh, you know, not really the greatest, but it is what it is. And after that, we got Miguel Rojas doing okay. I'd say that 250 could definitely go up, but besides that, everything else, okay. Also, I was just about to say, where the heck is Brian Anderson? But the guy's down for one to six days. So he's going to come back if we end up beating the Brewers. But the problem is I kind of need like one of the best players on my squad for this game. One of the most important games of the year. I kind of need him. But the guy's got a broken arm, so I sadly can't do anything about it. Also, we got an award. What the heck did we get? Was it Jose? Did he win it? Oh my God, look at that. Jose, the Cy Young Award. I mean, he sliced everybody up. He did amazing. For the goal goals, we got JT. We got Miguel and also Jesse Winker. And then after that, we got the MVP as well going to Jose. Oh my goodness, dude. Yo, the guy actually went 19-3, and a 2.7 ERA, and almost 260 strikeouts. Oh my God. Let's go and watch this dude pitch real quick. Let's get into it. Going to the Brewers Stadium, we got to make sure that all of our boys are hitting today, guys. We got to make sure everybody's going to do good. We honestly cannot have a bad game from anybody here. So let's go and hope for the best. The team looks great. Let's get into it. Come on, boys. I need a great showing. Let's go. A straight up single from D Gordon. Let's get it. God dang it. We get that 99 speed off the base pads. I hate to see that. Jesse, come on. That's a strikeout. I hate to see that as well. Giancarlo, that's a double. Let's go. With that, we take the one nothing lead. Let's go and keep building onto it or not. Alrighty. Fernandez, I need you to have a game right here, my dude. Stop walking, people. That's three straight. Let's go. Come on. Fielder's choice. That's fine. Get out of it. Thank goodness. Oh my god. Fernandez is going to scare the crap out of me with those. Alright, we got a double from Rojas. Come on. And a single from Jose. Gordon, I need you to get on base right here. Get a hit. Or not. That's a flout. God dang it, boys. Alright, Fernandez, keep dealing. Let's go. That's a sack bunt. Alright, gets out of it still. My god. Oh, there we go. A solo bomb from Yelly. Let's go, Jesse. Back to back. Or not. Okay. Giancarlo, possibly. Okay, or not. Hey, Zeus, he can do it too. Jesus Christ, guys. And that's a two-run bomb. No, Vogelbach hit an absolute nuke, didn't he? Come on, Vogelbach. What are you doing, bro? Now it's 2-2. Two -two. My goodness. Come on, let's score some more. What are we doing? We got Brent Suter coming up here now. He does very, very good for me, but what about everybody else? Okay, that's a ground out. Jesse, single, perfect. Giancarlo, 
That's a double play. My goodness. All right, Jose, his energy is getting lower and lower, but he's dealing. The guy's not giving up a run since the third. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him finish out the eighth, unless he gets into some crazy trouble. But I think for the ninth, we gotta go with Gallegos. So let's see. Tommy Edmond, that's a strikeout. Travis Shaw, strikeout two. And then Tyrone, another strikeout. Beautiful. All right, guys, let's score at least a run. Come on, come on, come on. That's a single. Rojas, please do something. Another single. Okay. Jose, it's been a great game, my guy, but I have to bring somebody else in here. I got to bring a lefty killer in here. And it looks like that's going to be Garrett Cooper. Let's go. Garrett, I need a big fly here. That's a single. We'll take it. That's fine. We take the lead. We get exactly what we wanted. Can we at least add on a couple to it? Or I guess not. All righty. Guy goes, get on in there and let's go ahead and shut these guys out real quick. It's a single. Not a great start. Strikeout. Single again, not great, of Avisia Garcia. Strikeout two, and now we got Vogelbach, Jesus. I gotta put a lefty in here, I literally have to. The guy's 22 contact versus lefties. He can't even see the ball from a lefty. The guy legit goes blind, Kershaw, get in there, and just come on, get him out. There we go, beautiful baby. And the Marlins take it, and now we gotta face the stupid Dodgers in the NLDS. This is gonna be an absolute dogfight right here. Clayton Kershaw versus Trevor Bauer for game one. Lost that one by four. Now we got Sandy versus Walker Bueller. Won that one, beautiful. Pablo versus Julio. God dang it, lost that one by such a close margin. Jose, have a great game, my guy, please, versus Dustin May. And there we go, we won it by one. Clayton Kershaw did absolutely horrible. Had a 135 ERA. Versus Trevor Bauer, I need this guy to have a great comeback game. We're gonna be out in LA too. Come on, Kershaw, I cannot have you do that bad. I literally need this guy to have one of the best games he's ever had. So come on, we gotta get some early runs off Trevor. And then after that, I need Kershaw not to choke at all. So like I said earlier, this is gonna be an absolute dog fight. This is not gonna be good. As Justin Turner hits a bomb. Okay, not great. It's only one though, there we go. Christian Yelich answering back. Let's go. Come on, keep going, guys. Keep going. We got Winker at third. We got Giancarlo over at second base. JT, please, you're in a 158. Come through for me one time. And he walked. That's fine. Jazz, come on. God dang it, the electric factor. What are you doing? Hey, Zeus, you're in a 118, bro. Please literally just do something. And he flew out. Bro, come on. We can't be having that. Kershaw, I need you to have another great inning. Come on, as he gives up a bomb to Corey Seager. All right, they take the lead, but that's fine. Please tell me we get at least something back. Come on. Okay, I guess not. Wait, what the heck are they doing? They took out Bauer in the seventh. The guy was dealing. What the heck are you doing? Hey, you know what? I'm not gonna try to manage the Dodgers. They're gonna screw themselves up. They got Kenley, so things aren't gonna get easier, but at least it's not Trevor Bauer. Jesse, come on. That's a single, we'll take it. Giancarlo, that's a fly out. Come on, boys, what are we doing? Kershaw's energy is getting lower and lower, but bro, I gotta just let him finish out this inning. Let's see how he does. A ground out, and that's a single. God dang it, they scored another one. All right, fine, we'll go ahead and take him out. Let's go ahead and bring in Richard. There we are, we got it out. Now we gotta score at least two with the guys that have not been able to hit whatsoever. Rojas, it all starts with you, come on. They got Trinan over there now. Come on, Rojas, please. That's a ground out, come on here, over four. JT, come on, over three, and then Jazz. Boys, we suck at the bottom of the order. We legit suck at the bottom of the order and we lose it to the stupid Dodgers again. Bauer, of course, great game. And we end up losing with this team in the NLDS as the Dodgers beat the Astros in 2021. Okay, we actually gotta fix the lineup like 100%. We gotta do something. I can't have five of my guys hit below a 200. It's so bad as each row goes to the Hall of Fame. Let's go, baby. But still, I cannot have my guys hitting a sub 200 when we legit need them the most. So let's go and get some great guys over here and I'll see you guys in the off season. Let's get it. All right, here we go though. First day of free agency. Let's see if I can actually get ourselves some beasts over here. Again, we're gonna need somebody that could be incredibly good for the postseason. And there's honestly not that many people over here that I could want, but there's still a couple that could be good, like Chris Bryant, like CT3, like Jonathan VR, get him back. Even trying to pick up someone crazy like one of these guys for the shortstop role. There's definitely some options, but there's definitely not as many as I was hoping for. So honestly, I think for this, the one guy I actually wanna go for is gonna be Chris Bryant. I feel like this dude down Miami would be disgusting. I mean, the guy could play first base, third base, left field, center field, and right field. The guy's all the way back from having a bad 2020. Also, I can't believe the amount of people that thought this guy was washed up for a bad 2020. I mean, come on, the guy played 34 games. Anybody can do bad in 34 games. But yeah, that's besides the point. I feel like him down in Miami would just be completely insane. Not to mention, Chris Bryant does insanely good against lefties. We also got Jesse Winker who probably hit right behind him, who does really good against righties. So it's nice to have that balance. And I honestly think this could be crazy. And then actually the one last guy we're gonna go for is Trevor Rosenthal. Again, the bullpen is great, but I just wanted to get that one last upgrade and I feel like Trevor Rosenthal is gonna fit great in there. Again, let's hope that I can get everybody. And there we go, Chris Bryant. There we are, baby. That's the big guy right there. Oh my God, and we actually lose out on Charlotte Marte. That's not good. That's not good at all. Marte goes to the Padres too. That's going to be rough. Who the heck am I going to get instead? Actually, if I think about it, we'll be fine. But God dang it, that still sucks. And after that, we get our final piece in Trevor Rosenthal. Now let's go ahead and get into 2022. Let's see how good this team can actually do now. Literally one minute later. Oh my God. I've actually never seen in this game Jordan get traded away. Not to mention to a division rival. The dude actually is going to the Angels for Roberto Perez, Rosell Iglesias, and Edwin. Dude, are you kidding? The Angels are going to be a force. So now they got Mike Trout, Rendon, they got Alvarez, they got Shohei Otani, and 
Also, no Syndergaard. They got Syndergaard this offseason too. Oh my god, they're gonna win. They're legitimately gonna win. Real quick, I gotta check it. What the heck are they looking like? Oh my god. Again, Trout, Syndergaard, Alvarez, Rendon, Jared Walsh, Michael Brantley, Shohei. That team is actually disgusting. All right, let's just go ahead and get into this. Let's not focus on them up until we probably go to the World Series with them. Let's just go ahead and focus on the team that we got now, and we got a great one coming in for 2022. Again, D. Gordon, Christian Yelich, Jesse Winker, John Carlos Stan, but now Chris Bryant on the squad now. Again, we still got Jesus Aguilar. I could possibly go for an upgrade this season. We'll see how it goes. We still got JT, and we also still got Miguel Rojas. And then besides that, pretty much the exact same team besides Trevor Rosenthal. After that, it's the exact same. Let's go and beat these stupid Mets. I'll see you guys at the trade line. Let's see what we can do. Yo, at the All-Star break, I gotta show you guys something. Look how insane we're doing. If I just go over here and show you guys the standings, we are killing it this year. Just take a look at it right here. Oh my God. 11 and a half games above the Mets, and we're locked in for that first overall spot. Now we're still halfway through the year. We're not completely locked in, but if I had a guess, we're gonna be okay. Because the team that we got is not a team that's gonna drop a boatload of games. Like if I'm looking at everybody, we got D Gordon doing very, very good for the leadoff. We got Miguel Rojas. I could possibly actually get a uh, better shortstop. I could, but do I want to? That's the thing. I kind of want to keep this guy for the postseason. Even though he didn't do great last postseason, I like this guy in the postseason in general. So I'm still going to see how that goes. Christian Yelich, amazing. John Carlos Stanton leading the squad. Chris Bryant doing pretty good. You guys get it. Everybody doing all right. The rotation is actually something I wanted to check on though. We still got Fernandez doing amazing. We got Kershaw doing amazing. Sandy, by the way, locking it down. Paulo Lopez holding out about a four ERA. And then six though, almost a five. I know six though does great though, so I can't get rid of him. In the bullpen, Hernandez, absolutely killer. We got Dylan Flora doing good. We got John Curtis doing amazing. Rosenthal though doing good. Garcia doing amazing. And then again, Gallegos, no complaints here. I might get rid of Bass though. I think I'll do that. And again, there's pretty much one guy that I feel like would be perfect for the squad. I really do hate to keep getting him, but Garrett Crochet would just be amazing. So if I can somehow swing this, I'm 100% gonna do it. What the heck do they even want from me? A right fielder. I can't get rid of JJ Blade. I really can't, but he's not doing great in the minors. And he probably has that trade value to get this thing done, right? Wait a minute. He actually doesn't. Oh my God. What if I get rid of Bass? Okay, I definitely can do this now. And there we go. Alexander, JJ, and Harold Gold going over for Garrett Crochet. I cannot wait for this. That good lefty throws gas. He's going to be amazing. Let's go ahead and get him. And there we are. Also, real quick, I do want to see what I could possibly get for Miguel. If I can get somebody crazy, of course I got to go for it. But I highly doubt I'm going to get that. The first guy I want to try for is Boba Shett, And I could possibly get Boba Shett. That's insane. The next guy I want to try for is actually going to be Trey Turner. I can also get Trey Turner. That's insane as well. And I think there's one more guy that I want to try to go for, which is going to be a super long shot. But let's see. I just have to try it one time. Time, and yeah, no shot. But yo, real quick, how's Trey Turner doing? He's doing amazing. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute. This guy would be so good leading off. I actually have to do it. I think we got to go for it. Miguel Rojas, Jose Devers, and John Birdie for Trey Turner. That should never, ever happen, but there we go. We did it. And now we're somehow looking even better than before. Oh no. As if the Angels couldn't get better. Those insane dudes finally go out and get some pitching. They got Jack Flaherty as well. That pitching staff is actually gross now. Now they did get rid of Jared Walsh and Aaron Sledgers, but still. The Angels now having Shohei, Syndergaard, and Flaherty. Yo, they might be unstoppable. It's getting bad. Is there anybody I can get Shane Bieber? Hold on a minute. There's absolutely no freaking shot, right? He still has two more years of arbitration. What are they doing? He's posting up a Cy Young type season this year. If I can get him, I'm doing it. I don't care. Paulo Lopez, Daniel, and oh my God, I can actually do this. Jason Alexander, one of the worst pitchers. Okay, can't do that. But what about Lewis Brinson? Come on. A guy that's got a career 189. Just please reject this. Oh my God, you idiots. You freaking idiots. Yes, please. There we are. Beautiful. We actually somehow went out and got Shane Bieber as well in the squad. So now on this team, do we not only have Jose Fernandez, RIP, we got Shane Bieber and we also got Clayton Kershaw. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Let's go and keep this thing going, baby. 569 seconds later. And yo, no way. Coming towards the end of the year, we're about to win a hundo with this team. It's no surprise to me, but still, 104 and 58 for the Marlins is insane. We're going to go ahead and take on the Cubs in the NLDS and let's go ahead and see how good these guys did. Real quick, I feel like we got to do it. The awards, we got to check them. The Hank Aaron Award going to Christian Yelich and we also got the Silver Slayer going to Christian Yelich as well. Besides that though, everybody else, D Gordon still did okay. Again, Yelich insanely goaded. We got Jesse Winker. Oh my God. Yeah, this right here is what I was talking about. I knew last year was a fluke. I had a feeling. I'm glad to see he came back. By the way, he did that in 115 games. Could you guys imagine if he had a full season? Either way, Giancarlo, 28 bombs. That is really not like him for having 95 power each, not to mention the juice, but either way. We got Chris Bryant in his first season, did fantastic. Jesus Aguilar, he came back quite a bit. Got JT, did good for a catcher, and then Jazz, not bad. Okay, it is what it is. Where's Trey, though? Don't tell me Trey Turner's hurt, though. I actually kind of need the dude. 
Is he hurt? He's hurt. God dang it. How long? Fractured chin. Are you kidding me? One to two months? Really? How much longer does he actually have? Don't tell me. 29 days. Dude, come on. Also, Brian Anderson too. I just need these guys to stay healthy for one season. Real quick, how do the pitchers do? Jose, amazing. We already know about that. Shane Bieber, the exact same. Clayton Kershaw. We already know about Clayton Kershaw. Sandy. I gotta be honest. Sandy killed it this year. And then six style came back quite a bit. Everybody in the bullpen did not have an ear rate above 3.6, which is insane. And now it's about time to take on these stupid Cubs. We got Fernandez going up against Zach Wheeler for game one. One, and we lost on by six. Jesus, okay. Shane Bieber versus John Means. Won that one, perfect. Clayton Kershaw versus Kyle Hendricks. Lost that one, actually. How the heck did we lose that one? All right, Sandy versus Adbert. And we lost that one too. What the heck is going on? Real quick, how did the Cubs do? They finished off 93 and 69. They had a great team. So yeah, the Cubs, they did very good, sadly. We lost at 3-1. Now, please, Cubs, don't win. All right, just get beat out. And the Angels, there we go. Just like I was saying, the Angels finally got good. They won the World Series against the Brewers, and we're gonna run this thing back once again. I'm not losing with this squad, and I'm not gonna let any of the Marlins fans down. Come on. So you guys best believe, we're going again. Let's go ahead and win this World Series. Come on. We're gonna get a new manager this year, so everything should be fantastic. And yo, in all honesty, I really don't want anybody here. Our pitching still did phenomenal. We really don't need anybody in the field. The only guys I guess we could go for are some bench guys, but besides that, we're good. For the first bench guy, I'm going Justin Turner. I think for the second bench guy, I might go David Peralta. And then after that, I think I want a gigantic utility guy. And I think we might have to bring Derek Dietrich back here. Let's go ahead and do it. Why not? And there we go. The only guys we're going to go for is David Peralta, Justin Turner, Derek Dietrich, and Adam Duvall. That's it. Again, I'm content with the team that we got, so I'm really not worried about that as the Dodgers just get Aaron Judge. Okay. Somehow they still got money. Max Muncy goes to the Angels. Yeah, this is not good, as well as Seth Lugo. Guys, they're actually making a dynasty over there. I'm happy that Mike Trout got his ring, but guys, let's relax a little bit, okay? All right, this year we're running this thing back. Come on. We're doing a lot better than before. I'm not taking any garbage this year. We should make it past these stupid NL. LDS. There's no reason why we shouldn't. If I take a look at the goals, the past two seasons we've lost in the NLDS. There's no reason why this year we should not make it to the World Series. We got one of the greatest teams in the entire league right now. There's absolutely no reason why we should not be performing like crazy. So real quick, let's go and get to it and I'll see you guys at the tread line. Let's hope for the best here. All right, right now in 2023, we come in at 65 and 34. Still very, very good. We're seven and a half games above the Mets, but they still can come back a little bit. I'm not going to stop them for too long. Let's just go ahead and keep this thing going. And let's go for another 100 win season. I believe in it. Let's see if I can do it. And God dang, before September was even up. Hold on a minute. That was easy. At September 27th, we're 106 and 45. My God. All right, let's go and finish it out. My goodness, dude. 114 and 48. If we don't get past these stupid NLDS, what am I going to do here? Like, what else would the game even want from me at that point? Let's check the awards again. Shane B with the Cy Young this time. Oh, my goodness. And yeah, we would have had either Christian Yelich or Giancarlo Stan actually win the MVP if one soda didn't completely go off. Guy had a 341 with 56 home runs. What the heck? The guy legit is just not human. Oh, wait. Here we go. We're facing the Mets this time in the NLDS. Real quick though, how did the Mets finish off? They finished off at 91 and 71. Okay. All right, come on. No more messing around. Let's go. Fernandez versus David Peterson for game one. Lost that one somehow. How the heck are we doing this? Shane Bieber, Joey Lucchesi. Won that one. Thank goodness. Six style versus Tom Walker. Won that one. And then Jose Fernandez going up again versus Jacob DeGrom. Won that one. Beautiful. Okay, we finally made it past the LDS. Let's go. All right, now we're facing the Dodgers, which is going to get even harder. Jose Fernandez versus Walker Bueller for game one. Lost that one again. God dang it. Jose? Next up, Shane Bieber versus Trevor Bauer. This is going to be a game right here. Come on, Shane. One thousand by one. My God. That would have been such a great game to go to. All right, next up, we got Clayton Kershaw versus old team. Dustin May. Come on. One thousand as well by four. Now we got six versus Julio. Lost down by eight. Jesus Christ. Okay. Fernandez versus Trevor Rogers. Come on, bro. Beat him. Beat him up. And we lost it by two. Shane Bieber, bring it back. And we lost it by one. Dude, come on. Yo, legit, what more do I need at this point? And the Angels beat the Dodgers. Okay, one more. One more. We're running it back for one more. All right, what's the one thing that we could change? I feel like D. Gordon is still doing good. But I definitely don't want to get rid of him. Christian Yelich, of course, amazing. Is it going to be Jesus Aguilar? Is that the one guy that I could probably get rid of and get like a little bit of an upgrade for? I mean, Aguilar, don't get me wrong, is good. But there are better options over there for first base, especially. So if I can do it, I'm definitely going to try for it. If not, not that big of a deal. But I just want to see what I can do. So that's going to be the main focus for 2024. Besides that, again, there's really nobody here that I need. I feel confident with the team that I got. I don't feel crazy. I really don't feel crazy in saying that. I feel like we got a great team. So screw it. I'm a better myself. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep this thing going up until 2024. And then from there, we'll go and look for some first baseman. Let's see what happens. All right, honestly, I got two guys in mind for first base. If I go ahead and go to it real quick, we got... We got Jared Walsh over here. It could be amazing. And then honestly, the other guy for first base is probably going to be Trey Mancini. Again, I like how good he is against lefties. I feel like he'd bring a little bit more balance to the team. So it's either going to be Jared Walsh or Trey Mancini. Those are really the only two 
too. So I feel like that could be incredible if we can go for one of those guys. Let's see how it goes real quick, and then I'll make my decision. 569 seconds later. Oh my god, no way we actually did that. All right, hold on. Look at this. We acquired Jared Walsh from the Cardinals for Jesus Aguilar, Richard Lee, and Bobby Wall. Two guys that are pretty much D potentials, and then Jesus Aguilar. And we got Jared Walsh. How do we do that? Literally, how the heck do we do this? Again, we add another star to the left of this entire team. Let's just go and get into the season, and please, let's run this thing in the World Series. Honestly, the team's too good not to, and it's getting annoying at this point. And also, real quick, at the All-Star break, I gotta bring it up. Look how good our pitching's doing. Jose Fernandez still doing all right. Shane Bieber also doing very, very good. But those aren't the guys I'm trying to highlight. Sixto Sanchez right here at 1.91, and then Sandy also 1.91. Two great guys right there. Again, the team is doing fantastic. We won 66 games at the All-Star break. There's nobody that we need for this team. I already looked over everything. We're good. We are completely okay. We're gonna go ahead and send this thing all the way in October, and let's go ahead and keep this thing going, baby. Let's get it right here. World Series time. Let's go. And at the end of the year, we end up tying the record and win the division right there. 116 and 46. What are the awards looking like? I gotta check it again. What do we got here? We got five pages. Let's go ahead and get comfortable real quick. Shane Bieber for the Cy Young. We got gold gloves going to Sandy, Christian Yelich, and John Carlos Stan. We got the Hank Aaron Award going to Jared Walsh. We got the MVP Award going to Shane Bieber. And we also got the Silver Slayer going to Jared Walsh again. I'm glad I bet on Jared, to be honest, because this dude went off this year. I'd love to see that. Who we facing real quick? Let's take a look. The Mets again. Here we go. Game one, Fernandez. Just put him in the blender, please. That's, what, four straight times that Fernandez has lost me the first game? Not great. Okay, next up, Shane Bieber, Joey Lucchesi. Still lost that one. We tied the win record. How are we losing now? Sixto versus DeGrom. Our backs are against the wall. Come on, Sixto. Way too close. We somehow do it against DeGrom. Fernandez, please. Oh, my God. Shane Bieber, please. Yo, they're just not destined to win. I don't know what it is. They're just not destined to win. Ramon hates them or something. We lost that one by 12. 12. A team that won 116 games got beat out by the Mets. And we lost it by 12. Guys, I'm sorry, but that should not happen. Watch the Angels win again. I swear to God. Oh my goodness. Dude, are you kidding me? I'm glad the Angels went on a dynasty, but why in this video? You know, why couldn't it have been like the Angels rebuild that I did? Or one of the other Mike Trout videos that I've done? Instead, it happened to be with the Marlins. When I have one of my favorite teams going up here with a dynasty that they never got to have. <sighs> hate to see it, bro. Hate to see it. If we check the GM goals, just so many wins every single year. And I wish I was kidding. And all those seasons combined, we won 422 games and lost 226. And we really didn't even make it close to the World Series one time. That's ridiculous. The Marlins, they're so cursed. I hate to say it. And Marlins fans, I'm sorry. Legit, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about that. I literally built them one of the greatest squads that they could possibly have for this. And we still somehow choked it. My goodness. Either way, I hope you guys still enjoyed it. If you guys did, leave a like on it, subscribe down below. I'd appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, both those links are down below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.